Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to um, stream X with XSplit so it's not choppy at all. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you my system. Okay, I'm running an Intel Core i3, 3220 at 3.3 GHz, 8 GB of RAM. So, um, Windows sees it as a quad core CPU because it has multi threading or hyper threading sorry um so that's a it's a pretty strong CPU um and actually I'm gonna keep that up okay um, performance there we go it's a pretty strong CPU I'm running I'm just it's all standard stock speeds because I can't overclock it and Let's. I'll broadcast real quick. Okay, I'm broadcasting. It's just a black screen, and I'm using. Here, let's click this. So there's actually movement. Uh, it's it's going from like 80 to 50. But if I actually started, like I would usually play WoW, and if I actually started it, it would be running at like 98% speed. And I'm not dropping any frames right now. It's all. I'm all doing really good right now. All right, doing good. I'm. It it would be pretty smooth. The reason a stream gets choppy is because I'll show you. One second. Okay. Because you your encoder preset is set too low, or your bit rate is too high for your internet, or your it's your quality is just resolution is just too high for your internet to handle. So. If you have about three megabytes up, go. You can go very fast. Or if your CPU is really fast, if you have like an i5 that's overclocked, or AMD. I don't. I don't know what AMD cores. What they are really. You can go to faster, and this kind of more CPU usage. So at least four. If you if you're gonna go down from very fast, at least have four gigahertz on your. Or your have your CPU running at least four gigahertz. Um. So mine's on very fast usually. My bitrate is eighteen hundred kil kilobytes a second. Uh, whatever it doesn't matter. And then thirty two hundred for the VB VBV buffer. I just kind of have it doubled, and that seems to be working for me. Um. So this will let you stream smoothly. Um, here I'll show you. I'm just gonna cancel that. I'll start up WoW real quick. It's gonna be running in my other window because I have two computers, so that I have another window over there. You won't be able to see it, but you'll see the CPU usage go up and Okay, one second. Alright, so I go here. I'm not. I'm not running while well. I'm just sitting. I'm. It's just sitting right there. Fifty percent CPU usage. I'm on very fast right now. I'll broadcast. Very fast right now. I am not dropping any frames. It's all good. Okay, you can watch it. I'll go into the game for you to show you it's not going to be choppy at all. It, and this works for all of the uh, all all games you can think of really. Just get these settings right and it'll be good. So I'm just going to fly around a little bit and I'll show you it's not choppy. It's just say it's not too choppy. I mean it's definitely playable. You can people can watch that easily. So yep, that's how you live stream smoothly with XSplit. See my CPU usage is like ninety something percent. It's just way up there. So that is how you. Um, I'm gonna stop broadcasting. That's how you smoothly live stream. It, it's it has to your CPU. You have to have a really fast CPU to be able to live stream with less bandwidth used. But your C. 
it's like a balancing act. If you ever drove in a manual transmission car, it's kind of like that, where you have to ease the clutch out and ease the gas in, and it's just you have to get to an e equilibrium with the CPU usage and the bandwidth. So if you have a fast CPU and, and bad internet, you can have really high CPU usage and low internet usage, so you can still play your games without any lag. So that's how you live stream smoothly. Um, my name is David. Thanks for watching.